All right, YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about the Blackstone Air Fry Griddle Combo. Um, just purchased this, assembled it. Um, so we're gonna go through the assembly in this video as well and general tips and tricks and some cool recipes and books that I would recommend. See you after the jump. All right, this is the 28 inch air fry combo griddle from Blackstone model 1785. Um, some notes on this griddle, um, it is pretty heavy. Uh, recommend two people to carry it around. Uh, recommend a dolly as well or a hand truck to move it. Um, I got this at Walmart and they put it in my car for me so that made it pretty easy. Overall tools you're, you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, uh, one AA battery and uh, assembly time here is about 45 minutes. Um, definitely take your time during assembly because if you rush, uh, you're liable to miss something. Uh, so those are my general quick tips on getting started. The first thing to deal with is the amazing amount of packaging that's in the box here. Uh, so just be sure to carefully unwrap everything. Uh, you know, have a garbage bag handy just to collect all of your trash there. Um, and if something goes wrong, it's nice to have everything intact in case you need to make a return. Uh, Walmart's pretty good uh, with returns, uh, or if you got it from somewhere else, hopefully they have a pretty decent return policy. So with your grill, you're going to get all the parts and pieces, nuts, bolts, etc. Um, to put this thing together, um, you're going to want to find your caster wheels. Look for those in a small box. Um, you're going to have two legs, you'll see this, and the bottom tray of the grill. And that's the first thing uh, you want to assemble for step one. So for step one, you're taking the two legs and the bottom tray. Um, you're going to take four M6 by 12 screws and attach the legs to that bottom tray. And then you're going to just easily screw in the four caster wheels. Um, they just turn in. You don't need any special tools to do this. Um, screw those into the bottom and then this will be the base of the grill. And here's our base. All right, for steps three and four, we're just gonna turn this griddle upside down. I set it on some cardboard to not scratch it. And then we're gonna just place this base, all four corners into the grill. And we're gonna need eight M6 by 12 screws that come in the kit. And we're gonna put two in each corner and just screw them in with the Phillips screwdriver. And you will see that the holes line up and you're good to go. Step five has us put uh, four thumb screws, one in each corner, in through the legs into the base, and just tighten those hand tight, and you're good to go there. And then you may need a partner for this one, uh, but you're gonna want to flip your grill over uh, right side up, so it's gonna be on its feet. I had to clean up my area a little bit just to make room for the rest of the assembly. All right, for this portion, you're gonna need the four corner brackets. These are gonna hold your shelves on each side. There should be an A, B, and an A, B. Um, if you can put them in and install them, like in the diagram on the screen, you're gonna wanna do that. And you're gonna need eight M6 by 15 screws to attach all of these. And they just line up on the side, and you'll see them line up here in a minute. And you know, as you tighten them in, just make sure they're lined up, and you're good to go there. Alrighty, now you want to hang your grease cup on the back. Um, that should come in a box with your griddle. Comes with one um, aluminum tray there. And then you actually want to uh, place your griddle on top of the body. Um, this is easier with two people. Um, you can possibly do it uh, by yourself, um, but you have to align the, the four pins with the top of the grill, push them in and then push it back and it locks into place. And this is the cast iron griddle that comes with this 28 inch model. And once it's in place, you can kind of see that it's pushed back there. You can see where those pins fall in and it should be 
um, smooth on all four corners. The next step is installing the uh, hood handle and there's going to be uh, two hood handle bezels that fit to it and you're going to need two M6 by 12 screws um, and then you can attach the handle to the top of the hood on the griddle. This next step is definitely the hardest in my opinion uh, of the whole assembly um, and it is installing the hood onto the grill itself and you're going to need a, a hood spacer for each side. Um, you're also going to need an M620 screw for each side and a hood washer and then a lock nut for each side. Um, so for this one you're going to need both your wrench and your screwdriver so you can tighten that up and tighten the hood on top of the grill. Um, I think it's a lot easier with two people because someone can hold that little hood spacer in there. Um, it has a tendency to fall out so before you start just make sure you're not going to lose it on the ground or anything because um, it is kind of a small part and you can easily lose it. Um, but overall, um, again, this is the most complicated part of the whole thing. If you can do it with two people, that's great. Um, you can do it by yourself. I kind of balanced the hood on my head a little bit as I was holding everything um, and it worked out okay. All right, for the last steps, you're going to want your three side shelf pegs and three side shelf washers for each of the side shelves. You're going to want to install those. They just hand screw in um, so that they look like this. And then you're going to get um, some M6 step bolts and you're going to put it into the top part of the shelf and that's going to lock it in place. And then once it's locked in place, you're going to add the bottom M6 bolt um, to that shelf and that'll really hold it in place. Um, along with the side shelves, you're also going to Use the rest of your M6 by 12 screws to install your propane hanger. Um, there's going to be an, a little LPG hook. Um, you're going to want to install that. And on the other side of your grill, you're going to want to use two M6 12 screws to attach the power cord bracket. Um, this is for the air fryers. You can wrap your, your cord up when you're putting the, uh, the grill away. And then you're also going to want to assemble your air fryer handles and drawers and um, those are mostly hand screw um, but uh, overall very straightforward for assembly. At this point make sure your knobs are on and secure um, and also add a AA battery to your ignition button. Um, it just screws off and then you're ready to light it up uh, once your LPG tank is installed correctly. Please refer to the instructions for that. Um, at this point you, you are good to season your um, cast iron skillet top so you're Good to season your Blackstone. And Blackstone sells a uh, special uh, like, like oil base that you can use, but you can also use vegetable oil, canola oil, etc. And basically you're going to get this really hot until you kind of see the metal changing color. And at that point you just want to add your oils um, and you want to do this like a thin layer of oil um, maybe uh, two or three times, especially on the first run. And uh, definitely don't use bacon grease uh, to uh, uh, season your skillet the first time because there's a lot of salt. It can break down that, that metal, um, that cast iron top. Uh, so basically what's happening is as you heat up the metal, it becomes very porous and it's going to soak in. Uh, you're going to polymerize uh, you know, uh, the top with those fats and it's going to protect, it's going to make a coating, like a protective coating that actually protects your grill. Um, and this is something you're going to want, helps it be non-stick as well as protect the metal. Um, and once that is complete, um, you're good to start your first cooks um, on your Blackstone griddle. Um, overall, I had a really good time uh, making everything from uh, quesadillas to stir fry. And it's a great griddle. Uh, it's great to leave the mess outside. And overall, I, I highly recommend it as a product. The air fryer is also really good. Um, it gets really hot and leaves stuff nice and crispy. So if you're making some french fries or uh, anything else uh, with your meals, I think it does a really good job. Um, also has uh, a little heating storage area for, for once you're done air frying and it gets super hot. I mean, it can get up to like 425. Um, the only like con I have with this model is the power cord for the air fryer is pretty short. Um, so you definitely need uh, some sort of extension cord. Um, and other than that, uh, just tips wise, uh, you know, having it on a level surface is super important. Um, otherwise, you know, you, your food will roll everywhere on your grill and uh, your oil will kind of stay in the back, which is not where you want it. 
Um, but otherwise, uh, recipes, uh, there is a good book. I'll uh, put a link in the chat. But um, if you're not interested in buying a recipe book, I mean, the official Blackstone blog has like a ton of free recipes um, that work great on the griddle. Um, and I mean, this thing is awesome for breakfast, uh, if you're doing like a, a big brunch. And I mean, it, th this griddle, the spacing, there's just tons of space. So, I mean, you can easily feed a family of five or six people um, with this model alone. So. It, it, there are bigger models out there, but uh, honestly, I, I think they might be too big uh, for what the normal person might need. So overall, I hope this video uh, was helpful uh, from assembly to review to where you can find recipes. Um, it's a great uh, addition to the kitchen, um, especially this model. I think it's really cool that it has an air fryer built in. It's like getting two things in one. Um, definitely recommend it, but I would definitely find it on sale. Um, Walmart's always doing rollbacks, um, so keep an eye out. Uh, I kind of go on slick deals every once in a while, um, see if there's any rollbacks on these. Uh, but overall, great uh, addition to the kitchen, and uh, hopefully you like this video and it helped you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.